Hello, this is Mr. Schwartz of the Drafting Room. We will be having our one point perspective lesson. To start this, you'll be opening your problem 14.24 DWG, and you'll be supplied with these front, top, and right side view drawings. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to scale this up three times. So take this information here. We will copy it, put it off the side. Then we'll use the scale command. Highlight these three views, right click, pick the bottom left hand corner the multi-view, and then type in three. And now this is the correct size that we're going to need for our one-point perspective. We're going to take this side view and move it off a little bit to the side here. Then we're going to draw our first picture plane line. The picture plane line is the accurate view of what we see looking at the front face of the object. From there on, everything will become shortened as it's vanishing off into the horizon. So now that we have this, we're going to draw our ground line. a little bit over. And then we need the top view. We'll copy this. And then put it the very front of the object on the picture plane line at the top. And then these two lines are the same, but one is from the top view and one is from the right side view. These are our picture plane lines. Now, to make this work, we're going to need our station point. Our station point is going to be in a set location from the right hand corner. We're going to go down. 12, and then to the right, 2, and we could draw any size circle, so it's easy for you to see and work with. That's the station point. A representation of like an eye or the very top of your head as you're looking at this building. Okay? This is how far from the building you are, and how far to the left or right you are. In this case, it'll be right. So we have our 12 and 2. On the side view, we're going to be standing 12 away from it, and we're going to be four units tall. Okay, this is the height. Go ahead and copy this. And that's basically our head there, our eyeball, looking at this view, this object. Now, from here, we're going to, along this line, is going to be our horizon line. So that gets set straight across. And then we're going to project one line from the station point from the top and intersect that. And then this, copy this, 
is going to be the vanishing point. This is that one point in the one point perspective that we're dealing with. Take this out if we need to. So, a little bit more installation on what we're doing with this is the picture plane line, as we discussed, is the true surface. So what we can do with that is we can project that straight down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to our layer one. And as you see here, this red face right here, this is the first plane that we're going to be working on. This will be the accurate equal plane to the drawing. Then everything from there will become foreshortened. It will be a smaller as it vanishes into the horizon. And we're going to construct this bottom piece in one shot. So everything else in this red layer will be the surface that we're going to, or the object we're going to be drawing first. We'll start with this surface. So from there, let's project our front line down from the picture plane line, straight down from the picture plane line. Which line line. And the last one, right here. So as you see, every one of these points are front or corners that represent points along the surface. So I have the top point, that top point, bottom point is covered by the top point, this point right here. And this point right here. And the bottom ones are covered by the ones above. So now we have this covered on the front on the top view. Now to get the actual heights, we're going to cat project them from our right side view. And only the ones that are touching the picture plane line can be projected like so. This one's on the ground line, so we don't really need to draw it. I'll show it just for clarity's sake. So you kind of can see the image of that very front plane of that object coming together. I'm going to change to layer zero, or object layer, and I'm going to trace that very front plane. Across the top, this, then here, then we have our diagonal, and we come back across, and then up to the top. So this is the very front of that piece. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the rest of the main body. So everything that is not touching the picture plane line will have to go to the station point first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change back to my red layer, layer one, and find points of reference that are on that object. These two, and then here in the back, I have this one. Not least, that one. So now each one of these, where they intersect the, PP, the picture plane line, is where I will project them down. So from here, I bring this across, this way here, and then this one. This one. 
So now we have the two in the back. We have this back portion of this triangle cut. And then we have the very back piece of the L-shaped block. We'll need to identify those from here to find out their heights. So every one of these points will come up and across. And then that little triangle cut. The bottom of the triangle cut. And that should be all the missing elevations. So now I'll project those across. I'm going to do save a little bit of time, copy this. Just bring this now. Be very careful. Make sure you zoom in. You don't want to snap something that's not coming from the picture plane line that's being projected to your station points. You want to make sure you hit those intersections precisely. If you're just a little bit off, your drawing will be off. Here, question. Make sure, but it looks like it's okay. Coming from there. Across this way. All right. Now, what we could do is we could eliminate those very front lines. We kind of save ourselves a little bit of eye damage. Let's eliminate those lines coming straight through here, here, and the bottom I'm not going to worry myself about because that's on the ground line anyways. So now we get a little bit better understanding of what's going on here. There's a lot going on, but you can see you have this top piece here. And then this is going to go down to the very back of it. This line coming across is for the triangle. You'll notice that it has some space between here and here. And to show that, let me go ahead and do some construction lines coming from the front, the very front object. I'm going to vanish it. And this is where the the one point perspective takes its its biggest thing is with the vanishing point because everything is going to be going into that point and where they intersect will give us the most amount of information about where things should be intersecting and be able to check ourselves. You can see where they're intersecting. Remember how we were talking earlier about the top and then that back edge. Notice that this white line here, or this construction layer, does not intersect at this location. It is further forward. You see that little distance from here to here? That's where that is going to intersect right here. Okay. Now, right here, this is going to be the edge of that triangle. So we're going to project that back to the vanishing point. We do not have a point in the front coming across here, so we don't project that back. But once we get to here, we can. Now, I didn't project this corner in the back here. We will not see that. So there's no reason to waste any effort on doing portions of the object we won't be able to see.
So now I'm going to go change to my object layer, and I'm going to trace in where those intersections are happening. Across, down, all the way across this way. Here, down, come all the way back to the beginning. This can be a little confusing. Going back to this point right here. And this is where that diagonal comes into play. I'm going to come back up and across this way. Now what we can do is turn off the construction layer and the red layer, layer one. And you can kind of see already this piece that's right here, this is that very base. Oh, I can't see it here anymore because it's turned off. That right here. And turn the red layer on so you can see that again. So all that very base object. Turn it off. And there you go. So now that we're done with layer one, we are going to start with the next layer, which is going to be this yellow layer, layer two. So I'm going to go in here, layer two. Set that as my active layer. Looks like I'm missing an anno line. I must have deleted it by accident. Put that back in. Not necessarily required, but it's nice to keep the visualization that we know where that came from. Unchain my active layer back to layer two. And I'll start with my projection. I'm going to do just the tower by itself, not this little extra extension onto the building. We'll save that from the layer. And because it does not touch the picture plane line, we cannot go straight down. We have to first go to that station point. Okay, we have the four corners of the box. And then project that down. Do a little time saving trick and copy. Now those are in place. Use the corners of the building again. Now you will see that this extension does share a point here, but does not share the point there. So keep that in mind for later on. I'll have to redraw this one on the next layer. Then right on the picture plane line, project across.
right? So we see these here intersecting with this. See this one here and intersecting with this. Change to our object layer. Now I recommend starting with this front. Notice that we have one, two, three, four lines. So this is front, back, front, back. So when I look at this, we're going to connect our two fronts, front to front. And then over here, we have our front top. Front top is the highest one. And then across that front first one. Back down. So now we see the very front of the building. To check this, let's go ahead and turn our construction layer back on. And we'll draw some vanishing points from the front to the vanishing point, and here as well. And we can see those intersections right, happening right here. That's why we're on the top for the very front, and it starts to vanish, it gets shorter in the back. Kind of a weird optical illusion, but that's not how we see it, it's one point perspective. And then here on the bottom, because that vanishing point is a little bit higher, it's going in an upward direction, upward slope. So let's go ahead and change this back to object layer. And draw this guy in here. This one in here. And let's draw that back line right from the top to the bottom. Now, this back line right here, I technically do not need because I will not see it here. And I will not see it going from here back. But if I draw a vanishing line, we will see that it does in fact intersect. So that means that we are on the right track. And everything so far is working correctly. It's a little bit of checks and balances being able to take front, top, and vanishing. So it's your three views to make a 3D object. So from here, we can say we're finished with the yellow layer. That's that tower here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that layer off. Now we're left with layer four and layer three. So we we're gonna go ahead and do layer three next. Let me turn off my construction lines. Now you see it says turning off current layer. I have to go back in as that layer is off. I will be drawing things and it won't show up. So be careful when you're changing your layers. Make sure you're always changing the layer you're going to be working with. We're working with layer 3 now. So from that front end again to here. Noticing that it's not touching the picture plane lines. So we have to go to the station point. So there's that four points. And then here we need one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's project those accordingly. All oh, have to go to station point. And I'll 
fit your clean line. And then you want to also apply grouse. Set these down. Okay, so as we were doing before, the other rectangle, we have our front and our front. So those two are going to be connected with this front. In that front. And we see where the intersections are happening. Right here. Right here. Right here. And in that particular front bottom. Let's go ahead and make sure we got that there. And there he is. So there's that bottom edge. It goes up, and then our diagonal. Let's go ahead and draw that with the object layer. Oops. Let's undo that. Layer three. Escape. Object layer. So, from the very bottom edge, going across to the third line and coming up. Show us that again. Let's check. It is that line there. So draw it across. Now we have our diagonal, which is going to intersect with not the top line, the line just below that. intersects here. And there we go. Got that. Let's go ahead and vanish from this point. Going back to here. And you can see where this intersects. Right here. So we can draw that face now. Coming down here. Check this, make sure this is vanishing correctly. And there's this. See where it intersects with that green? And then diagonal right to here. And we see that extension has now been added to the drawing. I'm going to use the trim command using that line and this line is cutting plane to cut these vanishing lines. All right, so there we go. I have that. Curious, let me check layer two. I'll make sure I'm on the correct height. Yes. So I do have this going across the top. And that is the back portion, which is good. 
doesn't hurt to check every once in a while, make sure you're on track. So now we can say we are done with the green layer. So this and that face there. So now all we have left is our layer four. It's gonna be that pyramid at the very top of that rectangle. Now a lot of this you won't be able to see, but we're gonna draw it because we have a lot of diagonals in this pyramid. So like normal, when it's not touching the picture plane line, it has to go to the station plane. Now on this one, to save some time, I'm not going to bring the back portion because we won't be able to see that at all. There's no reason to use that back corner there. You can't see it. We won't be able to see these either, but we need them to construct the pyramid. They need that base. So now I'm going to project that across. Let's copy it, make it life easier. The easier it is to do, the faster we can get it done. Okay, so we have those three lines. So the two front edges and the back edge. So now we can only bring the front in and the back in. And then we will project those. So the front is in the top. And the back is in the bottom. So we can see right here, top is the front going across to the first two. And then it's going to vanish from here to that back corner back here. So those are our three points that we're going to need for the triangle for the pyramid. Now, the next one we need is the very center of that pyramid. There's going to be a different height. So we're going to bring this one across to our station point. Then project it. Let's see, it's that point. Now be careful about those. Don't want to misclick. I'm just going to bring it down to about here. And then I'm going to take this guy across. And so I see where I intersect right here. So now I can go ahead and pull out my object layer and draw from the very front top corner right here to the very top of the pyramid and then back down to the front corner of the pyramid and then back to the top. Get that very back end right here. So there's the top of the pyramid. I can now turn off my layer four. And now you can really see the object kind of coming to life. We have to do some trimming because we don't need to see the stuff that's behind the object. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll trim off the little extra bits of that pyramid that we can't see. Think of that as kind of like a roof and you can't see above the front of the building to see the ceiling of the roof. And then the back of the building with the extension, you can't see that. So we're going to this cutting plane, cut that off. And once that extension has been added on, we're going to use this to cut that edge off there. And we no longer have an edge here, so we're going to go out of that. And we're going to do a massive trim to get everything in between these guys here. 
take out that one. And now we see our object coming to life right here. All right, so now we're going to make sure we're going to print this. So in the drawing, you should already have a landscape, 8.5 by 11, already pre-set up for you. Double clicking on that viewport. Let's do a zoom. Window. Center that a little low. And then we're going to try and change the scale here. Let's try and see what one to one looks like. Looks pretty good at one to one. Now, just to make sure you can still show your work, let's do this. We're going to take this drawing right here. And the horizon. Copy that selection. And bring that off to the side here. And let's go to our landscape again. Zoom out, zoom over this guy. So he's prime in our view. Oops. And change it to one to one. You can trim out that horizon. Then you go ahead and fill in the project, the scale, the draw by date, draw by, and the date, and this should be your project complete.